All right, so let's get over all the good things that have happened to us ever since Destiny 2 Beyond Light Season of the Hunt came out. Now there's a lot of weird things that came out in this season. And now there's some, you know, a lot of good things in, but then there's also some, um, yeah, some, uh, the, yeah, some, some bad things, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so let's, let's get into the video. Now, during the season of the season of the hunt, we got did the deep stone crit raid. Now, this is the first new raid since we got since of Guardian of Salvation. Came out with challenges. We faced a new boss called Atrax, and we also faced an old face called Tanix. Now, that may be the millionth time we killed Tanix, but you know that's Bungie for you. He somehow turned into a uh, a machine falling from space, and it's just it's just an odd style weird raid. Nine out of ten. Tanix were great, and yeah. And obviously, since season of the hunt is really Focusing main on the crow. Now, obviously, Kate Six would probably disapprove of this, but Kate Six is already dead. A lot of this is a bold move, my Bungie, in my opinion, because they brought back an old dead character who we, who the entire Destiny community hates. Just because he changed his name doesn't make him a new person. Now, obviously, he looks like a good guy now, but I really feel like there's still something deep down inside of him that is still evil. So I'm always going to be keeping my eye out on him, and I think everybody should really keep an eye out on the crow because we don't know who he really is he's just really confused disappointing man now one of the best most satisfying or probably nostalgic kind of weapons we got back from destiny 1 was the hawk moon now hawk moon did come back a little bit different but i really like how they did this gun they gave it a secret mission just like whisper of the worm back a few seasons ago but since we since they took away those planets we don't have those missions anymore but uh, it's really nice to see an old weapon come back from D1. It really feels nice reliving the old days using Hawk Moon. But and also it comes back with random rolls, which is really cool. Something we've never seen in the Destiny uh, 2 era with an exotic with random rolls, which is really super cool. So 10 out of 10 on Bungie's part for uh, bringing back this kind of weapon. In addition to adding Hawk Moon, they added two new weapon ornaments on Ashen Wings, which is really cool. And so is the Feeling Lucky. 9 out of 10 ornaments in my opinion. Now, as like every other normal season pass, there is always an exotic weapon that comes with the season pass. Now that weapon this season was called Duality. So it's basically a western version of Chaperone. It has great range and has two different versions. If you scope in, you get a like a kind of Chaperone feel and if you just don't if you hip fire it, it gets like a regular shotgun and has a bigger shotgun spread. Now, obviously, this weapon is pretty okay. It has a great ornament, so I'll show you guys in a few minutes. But uh, this weapon, it's it's catalyst makes it give you a little bit more range, which gives it probably a better, better feel. But it's probably not even the greatest exotic since Felwinters is still out in, out in the season. So eight or nine out of ten for this uh, exotic for the season pass. Next up on the uh, list is the Lament. Now, Lament was a great addition to this game. Um, I think it was really cool how they added a new exotic sword. We haven't had an exotic sword in a really long time. The best thing about this one is it's that it's basically a chainsaw. Now, as we can see from last se season, Fallen Guillotine was the meta. As I'll show you guys some clips in the background in a few minutes. But the way the lament, lament works is that if you rev it up, it does critical damage. And it just melts every single boss that gets in its way. And it's just a flat out amazing exotic. Ornament looks good, and it's just a 10 out of 10 exotic on my opinion. And last but not least is the new raid exotic, especially for the raid, so where you can only get it is through the raid, is the Eyes of Tomorrow. The Eyes of Tomorrow is such a weird gun, but I love it in so many different ways. One of the main reasons that it gives me Galahorn vibes. Now one of the special things about this rocket is that it has four different shots in one shot, and you can all track them on each little tiny shot onto one thing so it has tracking modules and it's just basically Callahorn 2.0 and I just really love it 10 out of 10 ornaments and just regular gameplay within it's amazing now even though it's super trash I still think it's worth mentioning is that we got a new strike called the glassway now this glassway is way too hard of a strike I think on Grandmaster they put way too many ads into it but you know it's, it's still a new addition so I guess it's good so hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, put on notifications for new streams. Tomorrow I'll be streaming Season of the Chosen gameplay, and I hope to see you all there. So have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you all in the next one.
Peace out.